this video covers the replacement of the automatic voltage regulator and the brushes in the alternator. It's literally a five minute job. In the back of the alternator, undo the two bolts securing the dust cover. Once you've removed the cover, this big heavy cable here, four lines on each side, uh, that goes to your automatic voltage regulator. You might need to break off a little tie wrap in order to unplug it. Didn't have my wire cutters handy, so I just used a screwdriver, broke off easily, and uh, able to pull the two cables apart. This moon-shaped black brick is your automatic voltage regulator. It is secured by two screws or two bolts, easily removable. Now that uh, this is free, there's two wires left, the red and the black wire here that go to the brushes. Just watch what's on the left, what's on the right. Red on the left, black on the right. Pull them out and you're done. If your uh, voltage regular needs to be replaced, it's that easy to replace it. That's the brushes and in order to check them, they should look like this new one here. Same size nut or screw. Comes out easily. But we've disconnected the wires to it. It'll pull right out. And the new one can be put in its place easily. Now on these open frame type generators where the back of the alternator is exposed, removing these brushes is easy. You can access it. It's, it's that easy. Just pull it out. And if you have to replace it because they're worn down, they're relatively inexpensive. Replacing it is, just as you see here, takes less than five minutes. In the enclosed diesel generators, you cannot access the back of the alternator like you can here. So we mount this automatic voltage regulator in a different location. It's not inside the alternator. And they are brushless, so you never have to do this. Again, the red was on the left and the black was on the right. And we're replacing the automatic voltage regulator. Make sure you're not pinching any wires when you do this. And it's just the reverse. Put the nuts, bolts, screws back into place. And we're done. Now we just tuck the wires back to where they were. Pay attention, you're not going to pinch anything when you put the cover back on. Oh. 
something is in the way here. I can see looking through the holes that I forgot to tuck this away. There we go. Now it lines up, fits easily, replace the two screws, and you're done. Don't forget to visit our website. We have a full line of replacement parts. Lots more instructions and a lot more do-it-yourself generator repair videos.